already know Steve Levy. Nowhere better than the road to get to go the new guy, even if that new guy is a legend. Matt, Pat Riley and his Heat got their four-game, five-night road trip off to a solid start with a win Tuesday night in Chicago. The task figured to be a little tougher Wednesday night in Milwaukee. Well, first of all, they had to play in snowy conditions. Wouldn't want to fight Shaq anytime. but wouldn't want to take him on in a snowball fight, that's for sure. First quarter, pivotal point. It was 5-2. to two. Shaq, hook, put him up 7-2. to two. All right, here come the Bucks now. Jamal McGlure going to posterize Alonzo Mourning. I think we need to see that again. Children's bedrooms are going to be seeing it for years to come, the posterize. Second quarter, Miami up three. Dwayne Wade, look out for the mop guy. And steal for Wade. Look out, guy with the mop. <laughs> the mop guy avoids being swept up by Dwayne Wade. Gary Payton in the third quarter. Miami trying to pull away. Payton had 20 in the game. Put the Heat up 61-50. Fourth quarter. It's all Heat. Dwayne Wade on real pass to Antoine Walker. Right there, layup. The Heat a winner. 100 to 83. This Pat Riley guy, he's pretty good at this. And that. Players are players, and I think they adapt to change quickly. You know, they have a job and and, and while all of them are very loyal to Stan, you know, because Stan was really part of a Heat organization that they wanted to come to, players have to adapt and they have to change quickly. We have to get on, you know, the same page, you know, immediately. So, you know, that'll take time, but they all know me. It's just uh, two games in a row against two tough teams at their place. And, you know, we got two more games in a row and we want to finish it out on a positive note. And, uh, you know, if we keep playing with the energy like this and keep moving the ball like that, we should be fine.